In part A of this problem, we want to draw the voltage along the transmission line versus distance Z for time T equal capital T divided by 2. So by the time uh, the wave reaches the end of the transmission line, a capital T seconds has evolved, and T is given as 0.5 microseconds. So we want to plot at T over 2 seconds. So the, that, at that point, the very first V1 plus wave will have only reached halfway down the transmission line. So we know how far it has propagated, halfway down the transmission line. We also need to know the amplitude. We want to know the amplitude of V1 plus, and we can get that from a voltage divider at the generator end. We want to know what is V1 plus here, and so V1 plus, if we put that into our equation, we put in Vg, which is given as 15 volts, times Z0, since that is, um, the V1 plus is across, has an impedance of Z0. So Z0 over Rg plus Z0. So now we can plug in numbers that are given. Z0 is 50. Rg is 75, and once we simplify, we get 6 volts. So now we know how far it has propagated. So this is versus Z. Here is the end of the line, Z equal L. Only enough time has elapsed for the wave to propagate halfway down the line. And it's a constant battery source. The switch is closed and it stays closed. So we're going to draw a constant amplitude up until the leading edge of the pulse, and that is V1 plus, which is equal to 6 volts, which we just calculated. And I can label here V versus Z at time T over 2, since the voltage is a function of both space and time. And this is Z equals 0.